वेरी वार्म गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज लेट मी नो इफ आई एम ऑडिबल प्लीज लेट मी नो इफ आई एम ऑडिबल ऑल राइट सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फिजिक्स इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ फिजिक्स फॉर नाटा एंड यूसीड एग्जामिनेशन specifically we are talking about uh, examinations in 2023 so let us start our session uh, with the very uh, let us start our session quickly i samit joshi uh, welcome you all once again on the behalf of creative edge for today's session and the emphasis of today's session is on topic wise preparation of for physics for nata and uced 2023 examinations so if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and you can uh, download uh, free design and architecture study material you can uh, get the link uh, from the description box so let us start our session with uh, the topic wise preparation of physics there have been many queries by many students that sir we are not able to prepare for physics the uncertainty lies how should we prepare so as of now we have enough time to prepare for physics and how one should approach it uh, on the basis on uh, topic wise and how can uh, you incorporate physics uh, as your strength in your examination right so if we talk about uh, exam like nata so there are direct questions there are seven direct questions in all 2022 papers based on seven uh, in all seven questions in all attempts of nata 2022 if i talk about nata in june attempt july attempt and august attempt the questions were if we talk about the questions they were uh, mostly mostly basic questions have been asked there were certain numericals certain numericals based on basic concepts but weightage of numericals was limited weightage of numericals was limited there were only 2 to 3 numericals other questions were based on basic theory so my suggestion for topic wise preparation is as we are going to discuss so let us see i would recommend recommend you to start from class 9 ncert book right i'll recommend you to start from class 9 ncert book and in fact the topics that i have taken here in this presentation are also in the same sequence from ncert book okay so the very first thing is motion along straight line so motion in a straight line motion in one dimension or motion along a straight line this is what is the title of the chapter and there you need to study basic definition what is uh, motion along straight line what is uniform motion what is non uniform motion what is difference between uniform and non uniform motion then equations of motion 
there are three equations of motion that one must be familiar with and those equations are quite useful quite handy when it comes to solve basic numericals jaisa maine aapko bataya ki nata ke paper ke case mein hota hai right and then we'll move to basic definition of uniform circular motion what is the formula for uh, uniform circular motion how it is different from linear motion or motion in a straight line how it is different from motion in a straight line these are the things other than these time time and distance graph displacement displacement time graph distance time graph displacement time graph speed time graph velocity time graph and acceleration time graph these are the graphs that also need to be looked how they behave once right ek bar aap inko bhi go through kar lijiye so that aap kabhi bhi is tarah ke graph ke questions ke sath problem face na kare right bahut basic hai bahut aasani se samajh mein aane wali cheeze hain but हम इस पर टाइम इन्वेस्ट नहीं करते इसलिए ये क्वेश्चंस या इस तरह के ग्राफ हमें ट्रबल देते हैं सो माय सजेशन इज टेक वन टॉपिक इन अ वीक और इन टू वीक्स कंप्लीट वन चैप्टर फ्रॉम एनसीईआरटी क्लास नाइन्थ इन दिस मैनर आल्सो यू विल बी एबल टू कवर ऑलमोस्ट ऑल बेसिक्स फ्रॉम क्लास नाइन्थ एंड टेंथ एंड दैट वुड एनश्योर you are attempting at least four correct questions out of seven at least four this is the minimum i am saying right so next one is forces that is balanced and unbalanced forces and laws of motion this is the next chapter forces ncert class 9th next chapter is forces here you need to learn about basics uh, definition of balance forces definition of unbalanced forces why unbalanced forces are required what is the role of balance forces how laws of motions are uh, used in a day to day life how physics is applicable right so these are the basic things that you need to cover from chapter forces in class 9 next is gravitation here you need to cover three things only universal law of gravitation free fall and archimedes principle last year there was a question based on archimedes principle theory question was there but if you are not looking at it carefully you may end up marking the wrong one right so thorough practice nahi required hai बट बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्लियर होनी चाहिए बहुत प्रैक्टिस नहीं मांगता है ये वाला पार्ट फिजिक्स का बट इट रिक्वायर्स यू टू हैव क्लियर कॉन्सेप्ट्स, कॉन्सेप्ट्स का क्लैरिटी होना चाहिए एंड दैट कैन बी डन इजीली, बस जस्ट वाइल गोइंग थ्रू द चैप्टर्स एंड मेकिंग नोट्स मेक शॉर्ट नोट ऑफ ऑल द चैप्टर्स एंड गो एज टॉपिक वाइज एज वी आर डिस्कसिंग right you need to note down what is universal law of gravitation what is universal gravitational constant what is free fall why free fall occurs what is difference between uh, free fall when it happens at earth or when it happens at moon what would be the difference these basics that you need to know and then archimedes principle and uh, based on this principle uh, buoyancy is defined in this chapter so learn this much that would be more than enough
let's move to next one next chapter is work energy and power so these are the only three headings that we need to learn work define definition of work formula of, for calculation of work energy types of energies specifically potential energy and kinetic energy and numeric for, uh, formula for calculating potential energy as well as kinetic energy right other than these what is power definition of power and si unit of power so in fact si unit of all the terms whatever you are reading so make sure learn si units of all physical quantities that are defined in each chapter in each chapter okay so this is one of the key to success there were direct questions on uh, identify the unit of force or identify the unit of momentum like this so there are uh, there is a possibility that it may re get repeated this year as well right then let's move to class 10th syllabus class 10th again i have compiled the list using ncert class 10th book so if you go through ncert class 10th book the very first chapter you will find is light reflection reflection and refraction so reflection of light definition then reflection through plane mirror reflection through curved mirror right uh, then refraction of light through glass slab through lenses spherical lenses then dispersion of light and scattering of light what is dispersion how dispersion takes place how one can achieve dispersion using prism then scattering why scattering occurs what role does scattering play in defining the color of sky at the time of sunset in uh, clear sky at the time of night what is the role of scattering in uh, the change of color of sky at different times right so these are the basics that we need to learn from chapter reflection and refraction of light then next chapter is human eye and defects of vision so in fact in this chapter i would just recommend you to go through superficially the terms because emphasis bahut zyada nahi raha hai previous years ko dekhte hue so one can superficially read this chapter superficial reading is required superficial reading of chapter human eye and defects of vision right let's move to next chapter which is quite important that is electricity and electricity based numerical have been asked in previous years question papers right so electricity when you are going to read the chapter electricity learn about electric current learn about electric circuit learn about electric potential learn about ohms law and on the basis of ohms law learn about resistance and combination of resistances combination of resistances series combination parallel combination mixed combination calculation of uh, power electric power right so these are the things that we need to learn from class 10th 
And if we talk about class 11th and 12th, there have been frequently uh, questions that are asked. Okay, sir, uh, we need uh, to know what we should learn. Abdullah, your question is where to practice mechanical reasoning questions. Abdullah uh, will make a separate video for mechanical reasoning questions. So let's discuss these uh, things here first. Then I'll come back to your question that you are asking. It is specifically related with UC examination. So that we will be discussing. So as of now, we are talking about NATA examination physics, right? So basic definitions of various physical quantities, their units from class 11th and class 12th. Spatially thermodynamics fluid pressure and surface tension. Then material properties. There are direct questions on material properties when it comes to class 11th and class 12th physics, right? Graphs of various physical properties. Again, with a spatial reference to thermodynamics, fluid pressure, elasticity. These are the chapters where graphs you need to see very well, right? Class 12th K physics se modern physics ka jo material wala part hai, material uh, semiconductors and uh, P type, N type semiconductor, etc. So that need to be uh, focused more, right? Now, if we talk about UCED examination, UCED does not ask theory question. UCED does not ask theory or numerical questions. Direct numerical questions are also not asked in UC. But application of concepts, application of concepts exists in UC questions, right? बहुत सारे क्वेश्चंस में हर साल फिजिक्स का एप्लीकेशन नहीं है लिमिटेड है बट ये जो लिमिटेड एप्लीकेशन है फिजिक्स का इसके लिए कंसेप्चुअल रीडिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड इफ यू नो द कांसेप्ट इफ यू आर कंफर्टेबल फुली के क्वेश्चंस आपने देखे होंगे फ्रीक्वेंटली पूछे जाते हैं यूसीड में राइट अ सिस्टम ऑफ पुलीज इज देयर एंड यू नीड टू डिटरमाइन हाउ मेनी ऑफ देम आर रोटेटिंग क्लॉकवाइज हाउ मेनी ऑफ देम आर रोटेटिंग एंटी क्लॉकवाइज व्हाट विल बी द व्हाट विल हैपन इफ द स्ट्रिंग इज कट इन बिटवीन राइट वेयर विल द वेट फॉल एट सो क्वेश्चंस लाइक दीस आर आल्सो सो दीस आर एप्लीकेशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस फॉर सच क्वेश्चंस यू नीड टू लर्न द बेसिक्स एंड देन Application. So there are questions in NCERT class 11th, class 12th that are uh, solved examples in the book only. So you can refer to those solved examples to get basic application clarity. Or wo clarity agar ajata, to then you can apply those logics in UC questions. There are not standard direct questions based on physics that are asked in UC. But you can always apply the logic that you have learned in physics in UCED questions, right? So that will help you solve UCED questions quickly and effectively, correct? All right. So let's keep this session till uh, here only. So thank you for joining, guys. I would request you once again, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And keep following us on Instagram as well. We are uh, providing a content there as well. So thank you guys. Thank you for tuning in.